The political power of the Hispanic electorate is big, and it's going to keep getting bigger fast. A few key stats make this clear. In the 1996 presidential election, 4.7 percent of voters were Hispanic. In 2016, 9.2. Latinos are the nation's youngest ethnic group. Median age, 27 years old. It's more than a decade younger than non-Latinos. Here's another way of looking at it. A few more numbers. Sorry, stick with me here. Minorities now outnumber whites in the United States for those under 10 years old. It's the first truly majority minority generation. What a Brookings analysis labeled Generation Z plus. 26% of the group is Hispanic. There are fewer black, Asian, and mixed race Americans. That means Hispanics will account for 40% of growth in eligible voters by 2030, according to Pew Hispanic Center projections. Hispanics have long leaned toward the Democratic Party by a more than two to one ratio. That was reflected in the past presidential elections. Few examples, Al Gore versus George Bush, almost double. It was pretty much the same in 2016 between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. 66% versus 28%. Politicians who assume that the most important political issue for all Hispanics is immigration are likely disappointed because they're wrong. In 2017, Hispanic priorities for President Trump and Congress were led by education. It was easily the top item of concern. 69% say defending the country from future terror attacks. That was also a top issue. And 66% say strengthening the economy was also on their mind. The lowest issue among those tested by Pew? Immigration, 46%. The question is, as younger Hispanics enter the electorate, will their priorities shift? Will party allegiances remain the same? Democrats have long maintained a big edge, but Hispanics will soon account for 40 million votes. That's a big opportunity and concern for both parties.